Okay, Menorca Navy, we've all seen the big span that's still on the dolly with the road bed attached to it. And we have now learned through an announcement this morning that Unified Command has approved and they are going to use charges, shaped charges, to cut up this piece of uh, the bridge that's still on the ship. Uh, they put out an announcement uh, this morning. This was done while we were traveling, and we are back in Baltimore, guys. So we're going to get you some some more videos, some more live feeds are upcoming. You guys pay attention for that. But they've included in here what's going to be what's kind of going to go on and where you might need ear protection. So we we got out on the internet and we wanted to learn more about the shape charges, and we thought you guys might want to see some stuff. They come in all different shapes and sizes and how they're put together, how these charges are put together for the application they need to be used for. Now, the internet is abuzz with some really good information out there on how these charges work. And we've got a little demonstration here. I've got some descriptions from these channels that we've taken some of this information from in down below in the description. If you guys want some more information, there's great, great channels on YouTube and they have some phenomenal information in there for you guys that wanna, wanna kind of go through. But it's got a housing here that'll have some explosive and then it's got a lining and this lining is in the shape of a V and then inside of that is packed uh, more explosives. And, and this is the energy that actually causes the cutting force. It's set off electronically with an electrical charge into a detonator. That detonator starts to burn and then the explosion happens. And what happens here is as this energy is released, the liner holding back that energy becomes part of the kinetic energy that leaves that device and it goes through and it just severs it. Now this is kind of a layout of what a linear shape charge looks like. It's, you can see it's got that V uh, that's built into it and it's long to cover the span in which you're trying to cut. Another demonstration here of just how that energy works to just rip right through the steel plate. And we've got a live demonstration here uh, to show what one looks like and how it uh, how it's detonated and what it does to the steel plate. This is pretty interesting when you look at it and you can see what a clean cut this this these charges make. There's a lot of material still left here on the dolly that's got to be removed before the ship can get shifted out of this channel and the rest of the cleanup can take place. Now we don't know how many charges will be used, but there is quite a bit. And we looked at some of these images from Unified Command uh, and that you see a lot of this stuff is interwound into the containers, into the ship itself. And this is probably the best way to deal with this material. Now, Unified Command also had kind of a animated drawing of, of how this is gonna go down. Now, we're not sure on exact timing, guys, but we're gonna be on the lookout. We plan on being there to hopefully capture these images live for you guys as they happen over in the Potasca River, heading into the Port of Baltimore, where again, the dolly is still pinned down because of uh, the weight of the ship. Now you can see these charges, and we actually saw some of these cuts, and so we kinda, we, we figured that these were coming because of some cuts we saw being made in the last release from Unified Command. And uh, also, some of our Menorcan Navy picked up on it and commented about it. 
knowing what was going on. Now, when these when these charges are detonated, uh, they say they're going to sound like fireworks going off. You're going to see a little bit of a little bit of smoke associated with it. But the preparation is exactly like the animation, and we could see uh, this worker up in a man lift making some of these cuts, and then we could actually see one of the cuts that he had made. You can see that that V cut right up there on that section of the bridge, and how many they're going to place at one time, I'm not sure. All that. All that's going to remain to be seen. Again, we're going to try to be there and bring it to you live. Now, this is from the Department of Transportation of Oklahoma and gives kind of an image of uh, a smaller bridge being uh, demolished and the use of uh, linear charges on that structure to bring it down. So, hey, that's all we got for today. Thanks for joining us. We're going to ask if you haven't done it yet, you'll click on that subscribe link. Make sure that notification bell is clicked. Hey, leave us some comments. We really enjoy reading, and we try to try to get back to everybody that comments. And, of course, hey, we want you guys to be safe out there.